feet tall, 200 square feet um, in size. I devoted all of my quarantine towards the construction of the structure. Even zooming into my classes while still working into the house. Progress was steady and fast until summer. One day it became two, skip a few, it's summer before senior year. The house was a shell with no interior. August 30th, 1.30 p.m. I get confirmation that Mr. Miller was indeed not lying, and that he signed us up to go first for senior speeches. I decided to use this opportunity to finish my tiny house and talk about it. October 12th, 12 p.m. I woke up from a particularly, particularly good dream. So good, in fact, that it caused me to oversleep and wake up at 12 p.m. I opened my email, as a typical 17-year-old does as he wakes up, to be startled by an alarming message from Mr. Luzio. What do you have to say? My senior speech was not in, and I was going tomorrow. And so I thought, and I found out I'm actually going today. <laughs> That's my senior speech wasn't in, oh wait, I don't know. I hadn't touched my tiny house since the beginning of September, and had nothing of substance to write my speech about. I jump into action. <laughs> Down the stairs, through the door, and up the ladder. I had a tiny house to finish. <laughs> October 12th, 12.15 p.m. I get an increasingly alarming message. A tornado message. <laughs> I batten down the hatches and pray that my tiny ass will prevail. Anxiously, I wait. <sighs> October 12th, 12.45 p.m. The tornado is playing hooky. I have double shot of espresso in hopes that I make up last time. The timer starts. So I thought, no. Uh, in 24 hours, I'll be presenting in 48 hours, yada, yada, yada. First thing to do, refinish the roof. Well, uh, October 12, 3.40 p.m., T minus 21 hours, I have a double shot of espresso. Uh, October 12, 7.30 p.m., T minus 17 hours, I complete work on the roof, I have a double shot of espresso and a celebration. Celebration is short, I am behind schedule. <laughs> YouTube, how to insulate fast tips and tricks 2023. Uh, what did I say? Uh, videos to watch at two times speed. Efficiency. <laughs> I master insulation half the time it takes the average person. October <laughs> <laughs> 12th, 8.30 p.m. T minus 16 hours. I'm cruising the aisles of Menards and seek of materials to pick up and take to my abode. My tiny abode. October 12th, no, uh, uh, yeah, October 12, 9.15 p.m., T minus 15 hours. I have a double shot of espresso before beginning work. I'm insulating my house. A quick word of advice for anyone uh, looking into insulating in the future. A shirt is more than just a recommendation. <laughs> October 13th, 3 a.m., T minus 10 hours. House, insulated. Skin, Birdie. <laughs> Hunter? Exhausted. Triple shots of espresso have no effect on my state. I take time to eat a slice of fried chicken before sleeping on the floor with my feet on a chair. Afterwards, I begin to write my speech. The David Seal technique, I honestly believe. Ten minutes sleep, feeling good. October 13th, 4 a.m., T minus eight hours. I'm back onto my feet. I have a tiny house. Wait on. Yes, I have a tiny house to finish in drywall to fasten. How did I end up in this mess? Having 24 hours to finish an entire tiny house? Procrastination. I suffer from a chronic. Ask any of my teachers. Instead of sitting before you, instead of, uh, no, instead of sitting before you, the crap asleep, I could be sitting before you with an apt amount of sleep and a finished tiny house. Yet, even though it ends up like this for many, not all, many of the time, things I procrastinate on, I'll still do it the next time. 
I stand before you to tell this cautionary tale. Procrastinate, and you'll end up with an unfinished tiny house and no sauna. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Does this it's mean supposed to have a sauna. I'll stop procrastinating? Never to miss a deadline until my day's end? <laughs> Doubtful. <laughs> I understand thinking you have it is an ambitious, ambitious feat. And there's no way I'd see this through cold turkey. When out one person that has actually kept their New Year's resolution this year. Please. <laughs> Instead, I'm taking baby steps, baby. <laughs> Turn in an assignment six days late instead of seven. Success! <laughs> Three hours of YouTube instead of, instead of five before studying for a test. Out of the park and returned all the cups to my room before my family ran out of cups in the cupboards. Yeah. Woohoo! I amazed myself really. I think that's too know that. It's the, it's the continual effort that turns the downward trends upwards. Not the half-hearted vows that you'll only go up from here. That's, that's legitimate, unlike the rest of this speech. <laughs> Incremental change allows for a misstep without failing. It allows for real change. Now, good night, and introducing the loveliest Katie Frick. <laughs>